When you're a bride on a budget, hair and makeup can really elevate your style. Check out how our makeup artist completed these brides' looks. Miriam is our glowing bride. With Miriam's makeup, we're keeping it very fresh and glowy, neutral enough that it won't compete with her overall look. Since she's gonna be in the sun all day, we went with the dewy skin look. We want to work with the weather, not against it. For her eyes, we did a really soft, golden eye. For Miriam, we filled in her brows a little bit just to give it more of a finesse look and to give her face structure because her hair is short. A little bit of a lash and a chocolate brown liner. Since it's an outdoor wedding and it's going to be very hot, that's definitely something to consider. And then for her lips, we actually went with a peachy pink tone. Miriam's look is all about the glow. The main thing to consider when it comes to hair and makeup is to really think about balance. If you go with a bold lip, go simple on the eye. If you go bold on the eye, go simple on the lip. With Kelsey, we kept it natural. Kelsey doesn't wear makeup and doesn't do much to her hair, but she's open to trying something very natural. We did a very light foundation. HD foundation is sheer, but still hides your flaws, so it can be a lifesaver on your wedding day. We just really wanted to take care of her skin and not give her too much color where she would feel uncomfortable. We used a little bit of a lash curler, and then we loaded it with some clear mascara. When you curl your lashes and you put a little bit of a clear mascara, it actually opens up your eyes and it holds your lashes in place. I love that Kelsey still looks like herself with this natural makeup look. For Camille's look, we went glam. Camille had some really beautiful brows. I just filled it in with a light powder. We gave her glowing, beautiful skin, bronzer, more of like a coral blush. A lot of people think smoky eye has to be dark, but that's not the case. With Camille, we did a soft, smoky eye, and it was the perfect complement to her bold lip. And we went with a Bordeaux matte lip to really set it off. Setting spray is great for brides. It rehydrates the skin and prevents it from looking dry. Camille's glam look is ready to do cartwheels down the aisle. One thing I always tell brides is to stay hydrated and to make sure that everything is waterproof. Lara's look is gothic glam. Because Laura wants this goth glam look, I think a bold eye and a bold lip is the way to go. When you're doing a smoky eye, you want to do the eyes first, just to avoid any fallout. And then you can clean up and then go for the skin. On your wedding day, it's always really nice to go with a lash. But for her look, I actually went for a softer lash, just because she had a very intense eye. I actually went very soft on her skin. We didn't give her too much blush. We went with a light contour and more of an intense eye and a very dark, vampy lip. On your wedding day, I suggest using a lip liner to prevent your lipstick from bleeding. More than likely, I say use a matte lipstick just because you're going to be kissing the groom and everybody hello throughout the day. Lara's goth glam look is ready for her Central Park wedding. On your wedding day, if you can only take three products, you want it to be your lip, your foundation, and your mascara. If you're a bride on a budget and have to do your makeup yourself, practice in advance and walk down the aisle feeling confident without breaking the bank. 